The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Plus Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to create a new user and remove an existing user on on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I think I've done this in the past, but uh, I figured let's do an up-to-date one using the latest and greatest uh, software from raspberrypi.org. So I'm using the Bulls, and this is the uh, April 22 download. I already went ahead and created a different uh, user using the uh, Raspberry Pi imager. But uh, if you want to add another user or change the Pi one to something different, we'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to do a sudo add user and name it whatever you want. We're just going to say test. Now that adds it. So now we need to make a password for it. Type it again to confirm. We could just click enter here and let all that go. Now it's going to ask for yes or no. We'll say why. And there we go. So next thing we need to do is add the user to sudo. So we'll say sudo and user test space sudo and we'll click enter and now it added our username to the group next thing we can do if we want optional not required we can copy the folders or folder from the existing user to the new user. So for example, if we do an LS, as you can see here, this is a stock image, and we want to transfer the download to the new user. So we want to copy it, do a sudo cp, and we can just do home, the existing user, and we'll just say downloads and we'll do a space forward slash home test then we can just put in we'll just let it go at that we might have to go back here do a dash R so now if we SSH into our uh, new user so we can do just a simple SSH test so we can just try to log in with our new user so we'll just do let's do a simple SSH test at the IP address we'll just say yes we'll put in our password and now we are logged in to the new user that we created and if we do an LS there is our download folder that we copied over from the fuzz user to the test user so let's see if sudo user works. Now it's asking for the password. And it looks like it's going to work. So that's how we can create the user. Now if you want to delete the user, I'll show you the command. I'm not going to do it. But we could just do a sudo del user space dash remove and then put in the username for me that would have been fuzz or if you're using pi or whatnot then you can just click enter 
but pi user doesn't exist. So anyway, hopefully that kind of helps out on how to add and remove a user on your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.